Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Take MRI, and this is a patient who was born in the mid-70s. They have pain in the knee, most pronounced anteriorly, and on this side view here, we see the kneecap off here. On the top of the kneecap, we have a tendon coming off called the quadriceps. All the thigh muscles attached to this. It holds the patella up, pulls it up, and this tendon down here, the patellar tendon, holds the patella down, and it comes down here to the tibia. So this is, again, the kneecap, and in the front of the kneecap, we see the main finding. The rest of the knee looks really, really good. There's no meniscus tear, no ligament tear. Here's the ACL, but we see that in front of the patella, there's a gray area here, all the way from the tibia, where the patellar tendon attaches, all the way up in front of the patellar tendon, all in front of the kneecap. So there's something wrong up here. If we put up a side view, this will show fluid is bright, and on this bright sequence here, you can see that there's a lot of edema or fluid or inflammation all throughout the prepatellar subcutaneous soft tissues. That's what we call this place, this space here. They've had no prior trauma. If a patient had fallen and injured right here, we'd say, oh, it's probably related to swelling and edema or hemorrhage from injury, but they had no such history, just some anterior knee pain, a little bit of redness. And so this is a case of prepatellar bursitis. There's a burst out here. They can get inflamed. It can fill with fluid. Sometimes you see a big fluid collection. Other times it's less well defined like this, but there's fluid in the prepatellar uh, bursa and also in the surrounding fatty soft tissues all around here. So the knee becomes hot and swollen. Sometimes it can be infectious. Other times not. And uh, again, this is a case of prepatellar bursitis. Otherwise, the knee was very good. And this is another view. We're looking at the knee from a different orientation. Just to let you see the kneecap here again and see this inflammation, really prominent inflammation and fluid in front of that kneecap. This is the kneecap, and here's the femur. So thank you very much.